Hey guys and welcome back to the PvP series and today we're going for a pretty awesome team. I like it. We are using the flare, flare Youngling and he is using a Blitz attack and also a Reflections attack which is a very very strong attack and hopefully I can use it to full effect and we're also using a kick attack just to interrupt people's decks because it seems to be kind of buggy at the minute and if you get to go first and you hit with this it stops their attack completely which is kind of weird but that's kind of handy and we're also using the nexus webling which we were going to use yesterday but i kind of said no i'll not bother using it and he is using an arcane storm which gives the arcane's winds thing that stops stunning and rooting and we're also using the magna surge attack which is the one I was talking about yesterday and forgot the name of it. But this attack goes for 3 turns. It's kind of like a rampage ability for magic types. And it's very strong. And um, we're also using a tail whip ability. Or a tail sweep ability. Which if it goes last. It does extra damage which is always good. And we are also using the voodoo figurine. Which is. I wasn't a fan of leveling this guy up. I really didn't like him at all. But we'll give him a go today. He is using a Shadow Slice attack, which is good against Humanoids. Which is good if we have any trouble with the idol popping up. And we are also using the Mobilate attack, which is good against Mechanicals. And it also is a Dot, which is pretty damn handy. And we're using the Dark Slim... Yeah, we're using this attack. It's kind of like a Reflections ability, but it lets him attack and then it stores that ability. So you're still getting hit with their ability and then next turn or else if you want to use it any other time you can use it whenever you feel like it. So it's pretty neat. So we will find ourselves a battle and I will go and land on the ground somewhere. Or can I just go in while I'm flying? Because that might be a bit handy. So we've just accepted and we're waiting for the pet battle to go in. <sighs> Do -do -do. This is taking forever. I don't understand, why is this taking so long now? Instead of just putting you straight into the pet battle, why is it saying waiting? Or is it waiting for the opponent to accept the... Accept the battle? That could probably be the reason why. Could be. It probably is. Bah. Your opponent declined. Well, that's fantastic. So, it is just... If he doesn't accept it, then you're waiting around for a bit. So that kind of sucks, but... It's all good, because we can just wait for another pet battle. And I was tempted not to do this video today. Well, do it yet, because I am about to go see The Hobbit. So I went, you know what, I may as well get a video out, because more likely I will end up not going and doing any video work when I get back. So I went, no, nope, I will go get this pet battle done and then go get ready. So let's see who we're up against today. <clears throat> we are up against a spider, a humanoid, and a critter. So I think we will start off with our voodoo. And he is starting off with his spider. And I think I will use the immobilate attack. Give him a little debuff on the go. Now he has a funky eye hand. He must be a hunter. But um, this guy is waiting around for a bit. So there we go. We have used that. He has got the Brilla weapon up. And I'm guessing he's going to use a leech life ability afterwards. So what we're going to do is. We're going to bring out the Nexus Welpling. And he's still got a nice big crit off that. So that's not good. And we will use Arcane Storm up. Hurry up and stop being so slow. Uh. So we will use that. And seeing he's got him out. We will switch up to the voodoo guy again. And we will use our shadow slash ability. Shadow slash. Whoa, that was OP. That was very OP. So what we're going to use is the 
shadow slice attack again because he's gonna kill me i'm gonna come back to life and would they stop fucking going in the places where there's fucking big things walking about and making the battle grind go up and down that is very fucking annoying so we will use another shadow slice attack which i'm kind of confused on why it's still going out so we've used it and we are dead so now we are going to get the Nexus Welpling out and we are going to use our Magna Surge attack. Er, Magna. Mana Surge attack. I wish I could talk today. So there's one head off. Next, it'll probably switch out and I will hopefully do a bit of damage to the next person that comes out because I can't see him staying in this battle. Not when his pet's only got 100. He did. Well, that's good for him. So he is... Oh, you slimy little bastard. Isn't that just typical, like, fucking missing? Ugh, we miss. No. So, right. We will get a tail whip, even though we're dead anyway, because he gets first go. As you can see. So, now we have got our fairy lungling in the game. So, we don't go first. So, what we're going to do is a blitz. Uh, we're going to use our reflections ability. And, thank goodness for that. Oh, what the hell's the deal with that miss? Come on, game. Sort it out. So we will hit him. And then we will hit him again with another blitz attack. Because the kick attack is going to be kind of useful or useless. And we will hit him again with another blitz. Yeah. See, that's kind of why I wanted to use kick attack. But because he is faster, it goes. Um, why is he not dead yet? For fuck's sake, kill the cunt. And as you can see, I'm getting a bit angry at this because it's fucking stupid. He should be dead a long time ago. So now we're up against the damn bunny rabbit. So what we're going to use is a reflections ability and hopefully he uses a dodge ability. Yep, he does. So I reflect. I didn't reflect it. Oh my god, this is painful. This is very painful. So we'll kick him just because we're going to miss anyway and it doesn't really make a difference because he's faster and he's going to now burrow see and as soon as he finishes that burrow i'm more or less dead unless he misses which nope he doesn't and i hate this game see things like this is fucking really stupid and he gets all his attacks off and i don't get all mine off i don't like it so we'll kick him again even though i'm dead anyway so there we go that is 8 and 5, and that was a really, really bad game. <sighs> I don't I don't understand how badly I went wrong there. That was really bad. I, oh, that was shameful. Very, very shameful. See, I don't like the fact if um, the bunny rabbit goes first, and he gets his dodge on, or he uses the, the dodge attack, should I say. He gets the dodge to two attacks instead of just the one attack i don't think that's kind of fair i think if he goes first and dodges the first ability then the dodge attack should be taken off for the next go anyway because that means really he gets three attacks missed because all he has to do is dodge dodge your attack that turn dodge your next attack and then you burrow and that's you basically three attacks missed which is kind of annoying and that's what i was kind of going hoping for yesterday with my bunny rabbit but no that didn't work out for my bunny rabbit so this team really it really didn't do too well and if i hadn't have missed that mana stars the second one then things might have been different but not really too much and the brittle weapon really did a number on me seeing i used the mobile it which was the dot and every time i attacked him i did damage to myself so that didn't do much better for my voodoo figurine because he was taking damage every time the dot was ticking so that's not good in that part but you know what there's always tomorrow that was the was it the four wins trick ended kind of sucks but ah well that's life you're not gonna win them all let's see what happens tomorrow and i will see you all next time